Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Welcome back to Hashtag The Impossible Grind. First of all, thank you very much for the overwhelming positive response that I've had. And yeah, today we're playing Farnborough Away. If you look at the Hashtag United fixtures that have been taking place, this is how we've been doing. We had, we've been doing really, really well. Look at that 6-2. And by the way, you know, we're in the National League. I'm acting as though we won in the Isuzu FA Trophy second round away to Oxford City. So we've just been doing incredible. I mean, yeah, I forget that we're in the National League South. But um, yeah, can you believe your eyes? 26 games in, we're only four points off top. And uh, to be honest, you know, if you were to ask me, you know, how do you think you're going to finish this, se this season? How do you think you can do? I think we can go up again. I think we're good enough if we hit a good run of form, obviously, to get automatic promotion. But that is tough. Finishing first, I mean, that's how Wrexham struggled, isn't it? Wrexham, you had to get top spot or nothing, basically, or hope to win in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, that is how we've been doing. Just some players that we're looking at at the moment. He's very, very, very good. Like, we, we don't need a player in this position, but I'm so sort of like greedy like that that I couldn't pass up the opportunity if we can get favour or favour. Danny Asincho. I don't know. I don't know if I'm butchering that name. Again, 18 years old. Looks extremely exciting. He's got six goals already. And Louis Chadwick in a goalkeeper. So let me just show you quick before we get into the game players that have gone out, transfers that have happened since the last episode. Sam Carolla has been approached by Leiston. And I really, I think you might have seen Sam in the last episode or previous few episodes. I, I really like him. I really don't want him to go. He's caused loads of problems. And when I say that, I obviously mean to teams, not with us. So why and Reed? I was disappointed. Oh, again. It feels like a while since I recorded the last video. I record like a video a week and put up a video a week. But I can't remember if in the last episode you guys knew that Wine Reed had gone. But Wine had been like really good for us. So that was a shame. Nathaniel Aseni as well. I was enjoying him. He was doing really well for us. Always liked him. He unfortunately went. Malachi Black. That doesn't ring a bell. Oh yeah. He was like a yeah young left back that I think we got from Hitchin. I like the look of him. But he went. Dan Lincoln. Don't care about him going. And Lewis Watson. Always being linked away with teams and we've started sort of not playing him to be fair so I don't actually blame him for going now but he's been here since the start so anyway sad to see him go but he is not good enough players that we brought in Kieran Monlui I, we I guess we needed someone in that position his natural fitness isn't that great but I quite like the look of him that's player number one that we've got Steve Arnold don't know if I showed you guys Steve Arnold unfortunately he's picked up like an injury which is annoying but he straight in the first team and I thought experienced in 35 years of age he was kind of exactly what we needed and then he got injured Paris Hamilton Downs ah oh, he's been really good I'm not sure if you saw him last time he, his overview doesn't look like a typical sort of modern day fullback at all but I played him at left back thinking like he wasn't gonna sort of secure a place if you like and he was absolutely absolutely class Ricardo Calder is the left back that I thought we'd be playing more but he's not actually been great I don't know if you've seen him. I don't know if you've seen Eze. But Eze has been extremely good for us also. So let's finally get into the game. I've got nothing more to bore you with. It is Christmas Eve when I'm recording this. So, so it's really weird because when I probably shouldn't have told you that. Maybe I should edit that bit out. Because when you see this, it's going to be in January and it's going to be a bit strange, isn't it? It's going to be like, what were you guys doing on Christmas Eve? And also, I've just recovered from like this. You shouldn't care about this, but I've just recovered from this annoying cold that's been going around. And I just, I say that because I wonder, comment below if anyone else has had this sort of like December flu or cold that's been going around in the UK. Um, I don't want to change the team too much from the last game. So Tenyola's back. I don't know if you guys knew Tenyola was back, but Willow trying to get out of the room already. My cat Willow wanted to come in the room when I'm recording because I like to close the door. And now she wants to go. So Shani Bari, this is the team we're going to select. Shani Bari is going to come back in because we really want to. Walter Figueroa, Figueroa was doing so well, but at the moment, these two, I can't not play these two. And that is going to be it. Yeah, Janae Mule, Harry Hudson. That is going to be the team that is going to feature today that we can hopefully win. Let's get into it. I'm still keeping an eye out for the um, the actual 3D kits, guys. So thank you very much for the people that have commented and said, oh, you can get the um, actual 2D kits now. And I noticed that. I saw that. Oh, that's a really nice bit of play. I noticed that and saw that and, yeah, capitalised that and got them. Oh, lovely little ball to Hamish Morrison in space. Hamish Morrison is going to bring Levy in space. Oh, that's lovely to Shawnee Barry. It's just stunning football. It's just, uh, it's like, it's like Barcelona, isn't it? I feel like I'm watching Barcelona when they had their pink away kit. They've had a few pink away kits, but in the early 2010s around then, I'm thinking of. Aris now. Aris with a dangerous looking ball in. 
and Follavi or Falivi gets it away. And here's Droz. Now, it'd be annoying if they score from their first attack, but thus is football manager at times. Falivi and it's curling and going out, luckily. Barnborough are enjoying themselves. I wouldn't say so. I'd say it's all been us so far. But yeah, I wish you guys um, all a Merry Christmas. And obviously, it'll be after Christmas when this video comes out. So I hope you all had a really good Christmas and a, an even better New Year or whatever way round you wanted it. If you wanted to have a better Christmas, I hope you had a better Christmas. Here is Levy. Now, Levy with a nice ball inside to Tenyola. Tenyola, a bit deep for my liking there. Haysom, like Harry Maguire, but more of a ball playing. Oh, that is stunning. As Did you see that ball over the top? That was absolutely lovely. That Levy brings it down beautifully. Now, Morrison is like, this is so nice. Morrison with a lovely little touch in space there. Levy, Willow, hang on, Willow. We're playing some beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, upward. We've been punished. Upward now hitting a ball upward to Smith. Smith now getting in a position to have a shot, and luckily, okay, go on out then, Willow. Coming up to the 40-minute mark, and then on to half-time, and I think we've been the better team. We played some really nice stuff as Droves, but there, I'm going to be really upset, Tanyola clears Pendlebury, if they score, because Pendlebury now is pain. Pain inside to Ward. Ward to Benjamin. Benjamin bringing it out to Droves there. Throws and it's just no, it's just we're giving them too much space. I don't like this. We're giving them too much space. I don't know whether we should encourage or what really, because encourage kind of instigates that like they're offering encouragement to boost their morale. I, I think I will. Hopefully they'll like that. Yes, because oh Hamilton Downs has not been very good. Because you've not been performing like amazingly, I feel. Eze has not been very good. I don't know whether to like give these Oh, that's nice, Ten Yolo trying to Get on that from a counter attack. I don't know. I don't want to make too many changes like already. I think the left back unfortunately does have to come off. So let's bring Janade on first. Keep tactical changes. Laser players. Yeah. Right. Half time. Played some stunning stuff. Looked so dangerous. His draws now. It looks terribly dangerous. At the start. Oh. And it's made its way in. And there was like a deflection there, wasn't there? That was really annoying. That was really annoying. Eze. As they going off now, and Ah, oh, this is not how it was supposed to go. We're now in third, but I mean that's not a bad season, is it? In third, but like we were the better team. Oh my god, that's so. And like the tactics tell me that I don't know. The tactics tell me that we've been doing good enough. Here's Janaid Mead now. You know, I feel like we've obviously been doing well enough. It's ten yellow, ten yellow, trying to get it. Oh, and I mean he he was going away from goal there. It would have done incredible. Even for a game, that would have been incredible had that gone in. Harry Haysom's not been great, has he? And he's got the ball currently. The Janaid Mead. We're just we're playing some really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. But just not clinical, just not finishing our chances. Obviously not good enough, is it? It's like Arsenal. It's how we used to be. And how we kind of are now with like a not an out and out striker. Oh, Shani Bari. That's nice to get it back to Beckett now. Beckett's going to. Inside to Whiting, that's good. Back to Hasim. I've made it attacking because I really feel like we're we're good enough to do this. Is Janaid now out to Aris? Aris, Aris, you've been a bit horrendous, haven't you? You have. You've been just a little bit horrend. Pendlebury inside, and it's Seb Drozd, and it's just come from nowhere. It won't count. Thank Christ for that. Right, Shonibari's not been very good. I these these players just haven't been very good, have they? They really haven't. I mean, uh, I don't know, like, low crosses. It shouldn't be low crosses. It should be mixed, I think. Is it? Has it always been low? I'm confused now. I'm confused now with the group tactics. Roller for Whiting. Yeah, okay then. Asim's not been great, but we can't. Hudson, is that what we're going to do? These are all the changes. At least it's not 2-0. Johnny Barre has been, has been dreadful. I'm going to, like, I'm going to demand more from these guys because it's just not... You've really not been good enough. You're embarrassing me, to be honest. You know, we've been so good. And I mean, maybe I'm being greedy. Maybe I'm demanding too much. I don't know. You need me drilling inside to Tenyola. And if that's onside, that's a really nice goal. And that is what we like to say. Oh, the ref's got his hand up. That was, that was beautiful. Nearly that was ball over the top. Drills it first time into the danger area. And it's a shame. It's a shame, really. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel disappointed. Maybe maybe that's me being greedy, but I certainly don't expect us. I mean, yeah, Bath City have got a bit of a lead again now after that. 
Yeah, it was only 1-0. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought it was going to be, um, Crowley, you think you should be starting more games. I hope the next time, I think your concerns are fair. I just want to make you happy. I can't bother to not make you happy right now because you are a good enough player and I don't want you to go to Leyston. But yeah, that is the 27th game, guys. We had been on great form after that, so nothing to tell me that we needed to change the tactics. So maybe it was just one of those days, unfortunately. And it has been a very good season so far, hasn't it? Third, 55 points. We're well in a playoff position at the moment. And I don't think the hashtag fans in the game, and I don't think the board or anything expected that. So when I go into club vision, they're still very happy with me. I'm trying to currently convince myself that I'm happy with where we are, but I secretly do feel that we're good enough to get into the actual National League. Yeah, the next game I show you is going to be, hopefully, it's either going to be the game that seals automatic promotion, which I which would be lovely, or it's going to be just the first game of the playoffs. And that's me also assuming that we're going to get in the playoffs. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you've taken the time to watch all of this video, you've got the patience of a saint, and I will see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.